home sweet, smoke-free home. Well, the federal government is considering making that the mantra for all apartment and condo buildings just like this one. It is considering a smoking ban for all multi-unit buildings, and legal experts say implementing such a ban wouldn't be that difficult of a task. I don't agree with the idea of smoking inside buildings. So would you support such a ban? Absolutely. Trying not to be a drag, Darcy sets her own rules on where she can light up. I don't smoke in my apartment as it is because it's like bad for everybody in the building. Health Canada agrees and in an effort to get more people to butt out entirely is proposing the idea of a smoking ban for all multi-unit buildings. About time, says the Ontario Lung Association. Certainly it's long overdue. Um, uh, secondhand smoke and smoking in multi-unit dwellings um, is a significant health concern. The federal government floating the idea after looking at discouraging smoking stats. 13% of Canadians still choose to light up. They want to get that number closer to 5% by 2036. And that means getting an additional 2 million people to butt out. I think that's a good idea. I actually live in an apartment building in Brampton right now and like walking through the hallways, it, it's like it's stained the walls of the smell and it's hard to walk through. But can the government control what people do in their own homes? Landlords and condo boards already do, says this real estate lawyer. The condominium board of directors does have the authority to pass a rule to make smoking basically uh, prohibited in the building. All that would be needed to enact that rule would be enough building support and a grandfathering in period for current owners. These owners would have a choice to either give up smoking, sell their unit, or pay fines if they're caught smoking. Something that's sure to burn smokers, but put a smile on the face of those looking to clear the air. I would love it. I'm not a smoker, so it'll make my day. Now, another idea that Health Canada is considering is increasing the minimum legal age to buy cigarettes to 21. Now, as for Toronto's largest landlord, Toronto Community Housing, they do allow smoking in the individual units. However, it is not allowed in common areas.